Hey guys, Dagara here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are on Grimm Season 6, Episode 6. I've been loving this season, as you guys know, you're probably sick of hearing me saying how much I'm loving this show right now, but it is just genuinely so good. Uh, I can't wait to dive into this, so without further ado, let's roll the intro and do just that. Here we go. Sleep is good, death is better, but of course the best thing would have to never be born at all. Whoa. That's kind of dark. Hear me? Hear me, Dan? No more calls. Is that the dad from Boys, Boy Meets World? We did it again. People are trying to sleep here, Dan. What are you looking at, old man? Well, isn't she a lovely lady? I don't think this guy's got enough luck. I am proud of myself because I didn't even flinch then. I'm grown, guys. Ow, you already checked everywhere. It's not like there's a billion rooms to check. Is it ghosts? Why chains, though? Can't be that. Ew. He just burp on him. And now he's paralyzed. <laughs> Salmon skin roll. Oh, they're impressive, those doors. It's so hilarious. Well, it's not. But the fact that Eve Juliet is on the spare bed whilst him and Adeline are in the master bedroom. It's just... Who'd have thought, you know? I mean, I'm assuming that that's where Adeline is. Sir! Do you need help? It's you, isn't it? How, how did you get into my room? Ah! Oh my god. Hello? Anyone? Anyone at all? just stood and, and watched that. I know this. Seven. Seven stars. The, it's gotta be the Pleiades. When I was a teen, I used to wish upon the first star I saw at night. What did you wish for? A way out of my messed up life. Except for that last wish. That one came true. Stop. You're being too cute. We have exactly one symbol that we recognize. It'd be nice if Eve Juliet got a conversation with Rosalie, right? Because I know that it's affected Rosalie a lot, what happened to Juliet. What is it, some kind of map of the universe? That's one possibility. All these seasons, and they still have not changed his ringtone. Parking Cooch. Got it. Yeah, we'll be there. Please, Hank. Any idea which way he went? One of the witnesses followed him around the block and down the street. A man matching the suspect's description was seen entering the Inglewood Hotel. I know it. Four blocks over. Anybody walk through here just wearing underwear in the last 15 minutes? That would be Dan. He's a mess. It is him. What's his room number? 308. He's going to be the Vessin just because I recognize the actor. Usually that's what happens. Ma'am, you need to get in your apartment, lock the door. What's happening? Now, ma'am. Now, ma'am. I can't open this door. I, I, I don't know how it gets in, but it does. <gasps> Here's Burkhart. So you're thinking this is just mental? We're never just thinking that. But one can always hope. He's not very good at using a hammer and nails, is he? Hell's that? <laughs> Do not block the window. <laughs> He's just been sat there the entire time. It's mad that that's a hotel. They really don't want to tell. This is not exactly the deluxe. But do you know if anybody's threatened Wells? I don't think anybody in the hotel did. I'll, outside, who knows? Interesting jewelry that this guy's got on. The guy in the wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Did he have any contact with Wells that you know of? He don't make contact with anybody as far as I know. <sighs> How are you, Renard? I'm sorry, do I know you? We've spoken on the phone. I'm here to clean up your mistakes. I'm done taking orders. I'm done with Black Claw. Oh, I don't think you will be, though. You were right. It uh, 
It was important that we talk. Renard's in a mess now. I'm not saying that with sympathy. He's put himself there, but... He nailed his windows and his door shut because he was scared someone or something could break in. How does this guy have no record of mental health issues? We're gonna need a chemical restraint in here! <laughs> yep, that'll do. I am pretty sure this is a piece of the Sumerian calendar. Maybe a reason to map them out this way is to tell time. What if this was some event a very long time ago? She always looks like she's in a state of surprise. Vessin with a big mouth, strange teeth, and it paralyzes you in bed. That sounds like an Alp. An Alp? Like a Swiss mountain Alp? No, different kind of Alp. Alpe. Alpe. These are definitely not teeth. Yeah. I don't know if there's a word for them. Oh, I hate that. That's creepy. They feed on your sleep. Basically, they steal it. I mean, with good reason. Alpen go insane if they don't feed nightly on the proteins our brains create. Would make sense if it is a hotel owner. Is there up a lot? And they're surrounded by people sleeping. The hotel makes sense. Lots of sleeping victims to choose from. My thoughts exactly. Oh, maybe the maintenance guy as well. So what are we thinking? This Alp has been using the Inglewood Hotel as a buffet for the last 60 years. What's the name of the old guy, the one in the wheelchair? Ling. Surely it'll be too easy if it is him, right? There it is, middle name, Herring. No record. That doesn't mean he's not a vessel. Was he in Supernatural? Beverly Garwood. According to this, she lives in L.A. You have a number? No, it's my first day on the job. <laughs> you tell him where, you tell him. Hello. Beverly Garwood. Hello. <laughs> for a little background information on a couple of the employees i can't tell you much about them except that they keep the place running thank you for your time feel free to call me if there's anything i can do his place was a fortress these things can't walk through walls can they hey right guys <sighs> oh it's the woman now the rude woman yep it is <laughs> It just like wraps around her face. Well, you might want to reconsider conversing with someone no one else can see. <laughs> the dodgy looks. I believe they're going to kill you. Who? Two men waiting by your car. Why are you telling me this? You trust me? Why would he tell him that though? <laughs> hey, so Meisner is there. And he can mess with them. <gasps> what? Or is Renard imagining Meisner doing that? This time, he chose the right side, Sean. I am confusion. Are we done? <laughs> wow, Felicia. Curious. Curious, sir. <laughs> oh, oh, chill. Oh! Ouch. Hey guys, I don't stay up all night. The guests are gonna do. Oh, do you? How long has she been staying here? About three months. You found the body? Yeah. So these people can stay there for three months. That's wild. About six o'clock this morning. Let's go check out her room. The old guy, gonna... yeah, the old guy's there still. He ever moved. And why did she run out of her room? Dan Wills was gone. Maybe she was the Alps next meal. Correct. How's this out getting in? I don't know, but I got the manager on my list. Which means it's probably not the manager. All we got now is an accident. Is it the old guy? I swear that'd just be well easy, right? We need someone to spend one night in there. It can't be either of you guys since you've both been there as cop, which is why you're looking at me. I don't want him getting hurt. Nick and Hank will be there the second the op walks in the room. Yeah, but they're not going to see it, though. If it's just a wire, they're going just off audio. Now how do we get enough melatonin in me? Can I have some of that, please? I could do with it. Okay. Poor Monroe. Forever being bait. And here's your housing authority voucher. We see or hear anything, we're coming in. Housing authority voucher. So this is a hotel where they send people that are homeless and they want to keep them off the street. Name, previous address if you have one. Check out the letter. 305. What's he put down there? Would he have been prepared for that? Thank you. 
Is it you? Are you the Vessin? <sighs> Making me yawn. Stop it. Oh, the sink. Like, how are these places allowed to stay open? Your hands would be dirtier after washing them in that. I'm gonna put the camera right here on the dresser across from the bed so you can't miss me. Can you see me? Loud and clear. I'm going to bed. <sighs> I wish I could sleep that quick. Head touches the pillow. Ow. <laughs> It is him, isn't it? Ari knows that the old guy does it, feeding him. Like, maybe the old guy's, like, a relation to him or something. Something's in there. Uh-oh. <gasps> no. Creepy, creepy, creepy. <gasps> How far away did you park, guys? Oh my god. Back up! Monroe! Where'd it go? Wall? Some kind of passageway. Oh, clever. We gotta go. Surely both of them don't have to go? At least one stay with Monroe? Hate this. It is the manager. It is the manager. It's not the manager. <laughs> Scrappy dappy go. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought we were after an out. Where is he? It's gotta be another passageway. That's such a clever thing to invent, like, it, the tunnels that lead to every single room via the same way behind, behind the uh, dresser. This is a welfare hotel? It's the woman, the owner of the hotel. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm calling the police. I thought I recognised the room then. Beverly Darwin. So you don't live in Los Angeles after all. What do you want? And is she naked? Because, yeah, she'll be the Alp. The Alp. I love a twist. I do love a twist, guys. <laughs> the face. Oh my god. You're a Grim. You're a Grim. So you can see, we kind of have a problem. As you said, I am a Grim. And this Alp in the world, who's going to lose any sleep over that? <laughs> I'll call my real estate agent first thing in the morning. The thing is, they're just gonna do the exact same thing in another place, though. <laughs> yeah, it's for the best, though, right? Life is a nightmare that prevents one from sleeping. Sleep well. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is that? We have a program that could roughly calculate the date based on planet position. Why would you have that? Why would she have that? The farther back I go, the more out of alignment it gets. Maybe it isn't a calendar after all. But... Or it's for the future. Ignore me. I'm an idiot. Way too far forward. No, what do you mean? It matches. Yeah, but that's not in the past. That's in the future. Oh, yeah, I was right. So it is a calendar. I think it is. But for something that hasn't happened yet? This just got good. Mm. Okay, so another episode down. And shocker, is a good one. Uh, I do think that this one, again, was slower. So the last two have been slower than past episodes. Enjoyable, though, still. Just a little slower. Mainly because they're, they're still touching upon the main arc so we've got renard uh, and the haunting with meisner we have all of this set up with the markings and the fact that 
it's going to be in the future. Some Something happens in the future. And it's sort of building to that moment as well. A link to the, the magic stick. And also the touching upon the relationship with Nick Adeline slash Julia Eve. Just the awkwardness there. As well as Rosalie being utterly feared that something bad will happen to Monroe. And then she's just left with triplets you know <laughs> the love of her life dies trying to help nick and then she has to face a future without him which is terrible obviously i hate that they keep using monroe as bait and i feel like every time that he does it it should be the last time because it never really goes to plan does it let's be honest i would like less of the baits please and thank you he handles it so well, but I would just rather keep him safe and sound. This Vessin was a creepy one, but I did like the twist of it not solely being the manager, but the manager helping the owner of the hotel so that she gets fed every night through people's sleep. I am still confused though, just to jump about a bit, but I am still confused by Meisner. The last episode, it was, you know, the worst thing to lose is your mind while he's talking to Renard. But then in this one, it really did look as though Meisner had a gift and sort of took the guy's sight away or just messed with his senses somehow. And then, yeah, he talks to Renard and says goodbye and off he pops. What? That could also just be Renard envisioning Meisner helping him. And re in reality, it's just him doing everything. But we don't see that as the audience. Maybe. I don't know. But we know that Blackclaw now is after Renard. And Renard wants to wash his hands of Blackclaw. Says, you know, I, I give up. Don't want anything to do with you guys. But it's not that simple. Bonaparte was a huge member of Black Claw and people were feared of him and looked up to him and he had a lot of authority so for him to die people are going to be angry at that and Renard has admitted that he was there during the death and they're just what going to go off his word I don't think so Renard I think he needs to get his story straight and decide what's what whilst protecting Diana who actually killed Bonaparte through Renard. I thought he would just take the blame. Like it was me. I did it. And allow them to do whatever they see fit as a punishment. Probably death. Let's be honest. But also Renard is strong and he could be useful. But he's he's not the most loyal guy apart from with himself. So I don't think they would trust him at all. Maybe they'd have to do some sort of magic upon him to keep him under under the thumb so they have the control. Maybe one of those knots that they did. Yeah, I don't know. It was weird not seeing Adeline in this one, actually. And Diana. Because you'd think we would at least see them because the last episode was her saying, oh, hey, mum. Yeah, Julia Eve is uh, in the walls. She's drawing like me. <laughs> so for them just not to be in this one it was a little odd i do like i say like i said before i feel as though the episodes are slowing down a bit in a way i'm liking it because it feels as though the season's like longer but in reality it's really not so therefore i kind of want everything to get a wiggle on at the same time because I don't want it to just be all about the magic stick and that be the the main focus I still have a lot of things I want wrapped up I want the Renard storyline wrapped up I want the Adeline Nick Juliet triangle wrapped up I want the Diana being safe and happy comfortable with Adeline and also more with Kelly as well because half hex and beast half grim i mean kelly's got to be special as well we haven't really seen anything of that yet or much discussion to be honest plus i also want to see the triplets there is a lot of stuff to explore and with not that many episodes to go i don't know it's just making me sweat a little bit i really want 
a decent finale. Please let the end of this show just be everything that I wish for. <laughs> Please and thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, I will leave it there. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this reaction. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, guys, because it really does let me know. And maybe subscribe as well, if you could be so kind. But as always, there's no pressure here. I would just love to have you. All of my links are in the description, along with my Patreon, where all of these are in the extended form and early access over there. So check it out, guys. I would love to grow the DAC pack as well. Massive shout out to my members and patrons, especially those in the Mark of Jane tier, sponsoring the content. Can't thank you enough for all that you do. And until next time, goodbye for now. Cheers, guys. And before we complete the sign off, let's quickly take a comment from the DAT pack. And today I've chosen Brian. Brian says, I think the last seasons of both Grimm and Teen Wolf are the best ones so far. Now that we know Rosalie is having triplets, I'm wondering how long into the season we have to wait, you and me both. I'm also very curious about Nick's addiction to the stick. Will it turn him into someone so desperate that it'll stop at nothing, including violence, to keep it to himself? G Golomania. <laughs> I like that. I see what you did there. Uh, yeah, I, I would like to know this need that Nick has to have the stick in his presence. And I think that it could, could be that these... So this date that they figured out with uh, the planets and them lined up on the map that Juliet had scribbled on the walls, they now know a date that something is going to happen. And I'm wondering if that's why the stick is now calling out to Nick. As if to say, you're going to need this. Take it. Take it. Because something big is going to happen on, I think they said, the, is it the 26th of March? Something like that. You're going to rely on this stick. And if you don't have it, terrible things will happen. I don't know. We are now one step closer to discovering what all of the, the symbols mean and they're, they're good at putting the pieces together because multiple heads are better than one. So having Rosalie and Juliet bounce off ideas of each other was really good. And it is nice to see the two of them in scenes again. Uh, but it does, it does have a different vibe to it. Uh, I'm hoping that in the next episode, we get a bit more of a push on the main arc now. Uh, and like you say, are we going to even get to see the triplets because we know that there's not as many episodes left it doesn't appear like her pregnancy is like Adeline's where it, it, it's much faster or complicated as what Diana was for, for Adeline uh, during the pregnancy but she does have three of the pups in there so <laughs> your girl's got it rough I'm hoping that she has the group to uh to back her 110 percent and yeah thank you for watching brian i appreciate it as always thank you so much and don't forget guys if you want to see one of your comments at the end of these videos don't forget to leave them in the comment section below and maybe yours will be next but until next time goodbye for now